So today we're looking at our filming location for Bed of Nails for the campground scene. And if you want to pan it around a little, Zach, you can see the area is perfect for the location that we're looking for. Lots of spider webs, and I'm definitely looking for snakes. Yeah. Follow me. Can't see. And as you can see, it looks like it's going to be a perfect location for the shoot. And if you pan around, Zach, and show the house, the house is behind us, but the house would be, like I said, would be out of the, the shot. I think is going to be actually really good. Yeah, it, it's ideal and an ideal location here. So here we are, at just a different location of the same spot we were at before. There's no ticks. Some of it's just a living nightmare. What? Since it's Florida, there's no ticks. Very area. Yeah, I don't know about ticks. I'm sure there's ticks in Florida. So I, I really love this backdrop with this tree, with the vines. It just screams old. So this is our canopy. And we're out not far from the house, but the house is blocked from vision where we're at. And there's another another interesting tree. So I'm looking right now at the backdrop, potentially for Leroy or Cedar's house. Um, you can notice that we have the bridge right here. And we also have some really neat trees that are over here that add to the aesthetic of the, the shot. And I also like this tree over here. And then we've got this tree over here that has a lot of vineage coming down from it, which is pretty interesting. So we do have some very good potential filming spots here. Okay. All right, so we'll watch this. Could this could double as Skeeter or Leroy's home? Here, there's an interesting boardwalk that goes up 
to the house. Okay, so we're looking at an area that I think would be ideal for the filming of the camp scene itself, visually. We do have the double tractor trailer, um, or tractor path going in that leads from 575. This area here would be a good area um, to make the campsite because of the fact that it does make sense with what we're talking about in the storyline of the script. And it is consistent. I do like the woods, the way the trees have a different aura or feel to it here. I think this might be an ideal spot location right here to actually film the camp. We can have a tent here. We put a tent up here. We've got uh, Jason and Sky and Lisa's car parked here. Um, if you look behind or in front of me and behind the camera, we do have some good POVs that we could pull that definitely are consistent with what we would need in the script. Um, I think that right here may be an ideal location out of where I've seen so far. It's convenient. It's practical. I don't see an abundance of poison ivy like I did in the other spot, which is good. Um, I do see some, but we could actually take that down. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to... We're going to walk down the remainder of the driveway. I'm going to take a, a quick picture here. And... Uh, you can stop that now. No, you don't have to. That's all right. You can keep it going. So I'm going to take a quick picture here of what I think would be the ideal location. All right. So this is a very good area for consideration right here. Um, I think this is I think this is our spot here that we could use to actually set up the campsite. Jason, Sky, and Lisa's car, putting it here, maybe pulling it off just a little bit with the tent there. Um, I do have to ask the owner about the, the campfire. That's another thing that we're going to have to do. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to walk down. And this area too. I mean, this area too here would be ideal. Um, it does have the it does have the the path that we're looking for. So this area here, if you'll scan this for me please and give me a POV with a pan to the right and back to the left. And go ahead and scan this. We could this this may actually be a really good spot here. I do have some really good imagery on both sides that are consistent again with the story and what we're looking for. Um, if you look ahead of me, we do have a, a good sizable amount of private road here, uh, private trail, uh, driving area, which would be consistent with the storyline. So we're going to walk down a little more. We have some beautiful color on the foliage here, don't we? And we do have a, a little bit of a swamp here. And actually what I'm looking at right here, and hopefully you're shooting, is I need a POV, a sweeping POV pan of this here, because this could be the swamp, double as the swamp that Lisa runs into. And it's forced to turn around and return towards the, the camp itself. So what I'm seeing is absolutely 110% of what we're looking for. I mean, I am very excited about this location. Very excited about this location. We do have this road here, the path, obviously, that sweeps around. And it continues down. It's a nice, it's a sizable, a very sizable drive. 
way. Absolutely, undoubtedly. Um, a lot of property here that is just, see, appears to me to be perfect for what we're looking for. I have not seen a snake yet, which makes me happy, but if you see all of a sudden a blur of me and it's gone, that's because I saw a snake. Another secondary location here for a possibility of the campsite is right here. And if you give me a uh, left to right sweep pan here, this looks like another very interesting location. All right, wait a second, I'm trying to... So, I'm telling you, this is absolutely incredible. There's so many spaces here that can be utilized for what we're looking for that, um, that I'm actually really excited about it. Another great spot here. We're close to the road. I think we're going to be a little bit too close to the road, although it, it, is, it is possible. I'm not saying it can't be done. It is possible. But here we are at the beginning of the, the drive area. Um, we have another area here that could be utilized for that. Okay, I think we can walk back. We, we definitely, we can turn that off. This is the location of the house that's next to the house, which actually could double as a second house. Exterior POV, which it is actually perfect for a second place, either Skeeter or Leroy's house. So this is the, this is the interior of the secondary house referred to as a country club by our great host Richard here. And, uh, Give you a quick idea. It does have the ability to be used. And there's a side view of that house again. And the surrounding area, which is right. And this is like incredible. I couldn't even, I could not, if I dreamed a better location, I could not come up with one. It's absolutely. Right, another shot of the secondary house. In the surrounding area, the swinging swing. Absolutely a great location for the second house that's needed.